Greetings and welcome to another off-topic video. This is the Philips uh, Game Controller SGC2909 slash 99BB whatever 27. Same as the Game Elements GGE909 controller um, from the early 2000s. Uh, vibration controller with mouse and keyboard elements. And Philips, uh, same for game elements, don't provide drivers for anything better or newer than Windows XP. And I've got a Windows 10 PC here with a 64-bit. And when I plug this in, I basically have a controller, but um, I don't have any vibration support or not to speak of the mouse and keyboard and I always was a bit sad about that because I originally back then 10-15 years ago I bought this controller because I had it had force feedback support and I was a bit disappointed when I switched to Windows 7 that uh, the support was dropped and now if you just uh, go into a race here It's not set up, so I have to play with one joystick. I hope I can do this. Oops, I just turned down the volume so you can hear the rattling. But there is none. There's absolutely no rattling here. And you can't set the force feedback. Yeah, it's grayed out, you can't click it, it doesn't do anything. So, okay, let's go out here and do some hacking. Well, it's not actually hacking. It's basically applying the force feedback abilities of a PlayStation 2 to USB controller converter driver to the uh, Philips gamepad. And I've provided a, a little zip file, which you can find in the video description. There's the link and it contains a few files, which I'm just going to extract to the desktop right now. It's it's recommended to do this in a separate folder and let's just zoom it in here a bit so you can see it a bit better and it consists of several files um, mainly uh, you've got a USB gamepad 0045.exe which is just the drivers for this uh, USB controller and we're just going to install that that was pretty quick and Next thing we're gonna do is to apply this registry file that you've got here, which uh, changes the registry and applies the force feedback abilities to the uh, Philips controller. So it, we double click that, uh, accept the user account control, we accept that it's going to be added and we, yes, okay, now it's in. Now we can plug the controller back in and start Need for Speed again. In case you're wondering, yes, it, it's a modded version, uh, modded version of Need for Speed with a widescreen patch and high poly cars and whatever. Anyway, now let's start another race and see what happens. Or rather, here you can't feel the vibration, but you can hear the rattling of the buttons. I hope. So let's just bump into something. You hear that? That's music in my ears. Don't judge me for my driving skills. <laughs> I can't drive with just one joystick. I need to reply this to the second one. Anyway, it's working. And if you are playing newer games uh, that can handle uh, X input controllers, then you've got some other files here, mainly uh, a certain version of the uh, Xbox 360 controller emulator. Uh, you just need these two files, the X input one underscore three dot DLL and the X360 CE dot ENI. You've got to copy these into the root folder, folder of the game. And then it works just like a an Xbox controller and you, there's the X input test app here as well uh, it's mainly working buttons are working 
and you can you can uh, race or you can speed up the motors here to see if they're working to test the motors and they've got the the left motor the bigger one definitely working and you've got the smaller right motor here definitely working too and there's also the D input DLL here the input 8 DLL which is uh, for some games when uh, for example uh, Need for Speed Hot Purse at 2010 crashes when you start the game uh, with only the controller plugged in because it has some trouble with the hacked version of, of that and if you paste this file uh, next to the X input 1.13 and the, the uh, X360 CE init file uh, then Need for Speed doesn't or the game doesn't see uh, the direct input controller and only relies on the X input or X360 controller emulator and works fine as well. Well, that's basically how it works. Uh, a total readme is in the video description and the zip file as well. And if you got one of these gamepads, the Philips or the Game Elements one, then I hope or I think you can enjoy these again in with a bit more haptic feeling under modern Windows environments. Thanks for watching. Bye.